Greetings family, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is well during this pandemic. In a previous video, I mentioned the fact that young Pharaoh had basically become a surrogate for Donald Trump and the Republican Party. Okay, um, young Pharaoh has denied that he has any ties to Donald Trump. He's denied that he is in any way um, associated with politics. But recently, it was revealed that Young Pharaoh was actually one of the guest speakers at a conservative rally called CPAC. Okay, well, basically, Young Pharaoh has found himself the subject of controversy because recently, Young Pharaoh was cancelled as the guest speaker, and he was cancelled due to the fact that. He has made some comments regarding Judaism that did not sit well with the international media. Okay, apparently, Young Pharaoh is now being labeled as anti Semitic, and people are now saying that due to this label, Young Pharaoh and his chances of entering this realm of politics have basically been dashed. All right. And so it was strange to see that young Pharaoh was also the subject of the monologue of none other than Stephen Colbert. Okay, Stephen Colbert actually made reference to young Pharaoh in his monologue, which is a highly coveted segment. All right, um, I thought young Pharaoh would actually make it to quarantine while, but apparently. Young Pharaoh and his removal from CPAC was worthy of being mentioned in the opening segment of The Late Show. And also, Jimmy Kimmel actually made reference to Young Pharaoh and basically called him a rapper who has made some anti-Semitic statements and therefore had to be cancelled. You know, so Young Pharaoh, he's making some big waves. Uh, perhaps for the wrong reasons, but Young Pharaoh has actually made it to being mentioned on major news outlets. All right, so family, I just hope that the brother takes note of what has taken place. Um, if I can say a few words of caution, let me just say to Young Pharaoh that he needs to be more self-aware. Um, he needs to really think before he speaks. Don't allow yourself to be swept up in emotion because oftentimes the only thing that will come out will be garbled and um, disjointed information that's not going to really resonate. Okay, and so let me just close this video by saying I hope that as a result of this, the brother would now try to change his approach. Um, just bring information rather than opinions that don't have a basis. Bring information and let the information stand for itself. But family, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about all of these dynamics. One love.